Imagine this, two brilliant minds forged in the heat of Silicon Valley's early tech boom come together to create a company that would change the world forever. Before Apple became a tech titan, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak were absorbing invaluable lessons from two of the most powerful tech companies of their time, Atari and Hewlett Packard, HP, and those lessons would ignite a revolution. At Atari, a young Steve Jobs was diving headfirst into the fast-paced world of video games. Tasked with optimizing the legendary arcade hit Breakout, Jobs didn't just follow the rules. He rewrote them. He roped in his tech wizard friend, Steve Wozniak, and together they designed an ultra-efficient circuit, cutting costs and boosting performance. But this wasn't just a game, it was a masterclass in hardware design, showing them the power of simplicity and how to make tech accessible. This was the spark. Meanwhile, Wozniak, working at HP, was dreaming bigger than calculators. But it wasn't until his time at Atari that a crucial revelation hit him. Color graphics were the future. Atari had been using color to revolutionize gaming, and Woz saw the potential for personal computers. It was the missing piece of the puzzle for what was about to become a global phenomenon. Wozniak brought that spark of color and merged it with his engineering genius. While Jobs sharpened his eye for consumer-friendly design, together they created the Apple Union in 1976. But here's the secret. It was really just a game console with a keyboard and cassette player input beside of cartridges with software. Stripped down to its essentials, it was as simple and effective as any gaming console, but reimagined for personal use. The design was pure genius, clean, easy to use, and capable of so much more than anyone realized at the time. But the Apple I was just the beginning. When Wozniak fully embraced the color graphics inspiration from Atari, they knew they were on to something huge. Enter the Apple II, a machine that didn't just compute, it wowed. Color graphics, sleek design, and a focus on accessibility for the everyday person. This wasn't just another computer, it was a revolution. Atari had given them the playbook for color and simplicity, while HP drilled the precision engineering into Woz's brain. And Apple? They took those lessons and transformed a humble console-like idea into a personal computing empire. Jobs and Wozniak didn't just build a company, they built the future.